Ah, good morning. It's the first time I've been in the woodlands for a few weeks, I think, due to family commitments. Hence my grandmother sort of reaching the grand old age of 100. And my mother coming over from Cyprus to stay for a few weeks. So it's been a really busy couple of weeks, but very enjoyable. And yes, my grandmother did get a, a letter from the King and Queen. God bless her, she's doing ever so well. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to shoot today. I just wanted to get back into the woodlands. I've missed it so much, I really have. So I've come to... I say it's one of my favourite woodlands. It is one of my favourite woodlands. Um, especially in spring, because you get all the bluebells and everything else here in, in, the, in the spring. And it is looking quite desolate today. But you know what, there's still lots of colour, lots of greens, lots of browns, lots of reds. It's been raining so all the colours are saturated and starting to come out. So I'm just going to wander around and see what I can take. No plan of action. I'm just going to enjoy it. I keep a photograph in which we want love caught in your eyes. Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew Who you were What did you do I didn't care Cause you were perfect I swear But somebody told me That it's over I know it's true You made me happy for a while I remember fleeting times When we slept on top I'm going to go for this image for my first one today. I like this tree here. Look how look how still these leaves are. There's not a breeze in the wood. But I just love the way the, the, the tree is coming this way. It's just leaning over. We've got all the moss at the base. And because of the rain and it's wet, the saturation in the colour is beautiful. So we're not going to touch that. That's going to come this way. We're going to try and bring a bit more depth into the image by introducing these fallen logs again with the moss. And the one over there too. And to give it a bit more extra depth, we've got this tree in the background too. So we're going to have a sort of a crop like that. So I'm already thinking about the crop that I'm going to use. I'm going to use Aperture 8 because um, at this distance that should try and soften that out a little bit, not too much. I still want some sharpness because we've got this moss on the logs here. I think it's going to be really nice. Let's go and do it. I'm already aware that of the crop that I want to try and get into the shot, so I don't want too much light coming in the back of the woodlands because we're quite near the edge of the, the woodlands again in this particular wood. Not too bad because we've got a hill in the back, so the hill's acting as a nice backdrop. Um, but I just want to concentrate on that scene there. I've actually dropped it down to 5.6 on the aperture. Um, I just want to try and soften that background a bit more just so we've got the focus on that little scene that we just walked around. So let's just do that. Once again I'm focusing in third way into the image. That's going to give me the sharpness at the front. The main features I want is going to be sharp. That's it, let's go for it. That's a three second exposure. Let's have a look. Yeah. Now soften that background just nicely. You can have a look now.
I've come across what looks like a bit of a a bit of a woodland graveyard. In this light it's a bit of a haunting scene actually. We've got a fallen tree here, all the branches are just smashed onto the floor. All the moss has come through which is lovely. And again, because it's been raining, we've got a saturation of colour, which is really, really nice. And to contrast that colour, we have the background of the trees, which are just bare and grey. Um, so this image I really want to take. Once again, it's part of that story of the woodland, of the old falling and creating new life for the new. So I want to take this as it's sort of sprawling out towards us and just have that backdrop of those trees there. That's going to give us a nice bit of depth into the image. And there's a little bit of light coming through now as well. So and a little bird. Let's go and do it. The light's really coming through really nicely now. So this is going to, is lighting up that tree a little bit there and it's putting some nice side light onto those branches there. So it's actually cheering the photograph up. So it's bringing the reds out in the, in the dead ferns, which are still there. So I'm going to do this at F8. Again, I want that sharpness at the front. I don't care if it softens towards the, the back. That's not an issue. We want that to soften up a little bit. So here we go, F8, 2.5, aperture priority mode, and around about 48 millimetres. Let's have a look. Yeah. It does make a difference that light coming through. Gives a bit more of a cheery feel. Yes. I need your love so badly. I want you all so madly. But I don't stand the ghost of a chance with you. But at last I found you, but other love surround you, and I don't stand a ghost of a chance with you. Surrender just for the tender kiss or two. Now it's fair to say, without exaggeration, that in woodland photography in winter, we don't get a lot given to us. We get flat light, bare trees, normally get rain, wind, maybe a drop of snow if you're lucky, that's nice. Uh, fog I don't see much of down here either really. So when the time comes for us to indulge, we must take full advantage of that. And uh, I love making characters out of trees. And here, we've got a fallen tree here. And to me, it looks like a tortured soul. The branch is twisted, it's bent. We've got the nice moss on here and the bare leaves coming off, or bare leaves, the bare branches coming off, the twigs. So, I want to try and create that sort of emotion in that sort of image and see if I can just capture something a little bit haunting again. It just seems to be that part of the, the woodlands and that sort of light where we can get this sort of thing. And here's a thought. It might, just might be worth trying it in black and white. So for this shot I want to get quite close in. I just want those features to be apparent. 
of the twistiness, the bendiness, the light and the shade that's going to create that image or create that feeling. So I'm just going to come out just a little bit, just give it a bit of space. I'm on F8 on this one. Just take that. Again, focusing third way into the image. We want that sharpness at the front again, maybe a little bit of softness at the back. And I've got these, these tree branches coming down here, which again, my fingers, fingers coming down, haunting. I quite like that. And I am going to do that in black and white as well. And I'll put both versions. If the black and white version works, I should put it up as well and show you. I'm just going to go and try another angle. He says bravely. Because it's always worth exploring an image. Just to get that other angle on it. I'm not sure that one's... We'll try it. We'll try, we'll try, we'll try. I'm gonna try. God loves to try. Okay, let's go for another angle. Let's work this image. Let's come out a little bit. Unfortunately, I'm close to the road again. That's it. Right, you may get all of them up, but you may not. <laughs> but somebody told me that it's over. I've got a confession to make. I've left my flask of coffee in the car. But not all's lost, you know. Luckily, I have my chocolate bar. I won't do that again. <clears throat> I just found this nice little intimate scene of the woodlands. And I love these sort of scenes where you get down low and and capture them. We've got this tree trunk here. All the moss on it here, beautifully green. The green is well saturated from the, the, the rain. But it's going to capture all that front bit there up here. So you've got the light and shade. Lovely. Come down here and we're going to capture this really gnarly tree here. You can see and all the colours are in there as well. So it's just going to be really close up to it. And I think it's going to be a, a nice image. It's those sort of intimate images in the woodlands that I like. Well, I've got a tripod down. I've got a camera down low, which means the knees have to do some work. Oh, they don't like doing that. But this is quite nice. I've got a camera on a portrait rather than landscape now. So I'm just going to focus that in. I just love the colours. And you've got the reddish leaves as well. So the green and the reds are going to fall over. The green and the reds really complement each other. And we'll do that. I'm at F8. So I like that. But I'm going to drop that down to 5.6. Just to try and soften that background a little bit more. How we're doing? I 
Okay, so F.6, that's, that's still kept the front sharp and it has sort of softened the background a bit more, which is nice. Okay, I hope you like it. I'll put it up now for you. Don't break my heart with truth. We can defy, don't you see? I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to set the camera up so you can see the back of my camera and the tree that I'm going to, to photograph. As you can see, I like, I like trees with character. So we've got the tree over there that to me resembles one of these comic book monsters that with his grey big long arms that are just sort of flailing out to the side. A bit like Clyde on the, the Clint Eastwood films. Uh, and that's, that's, that's flanked either side by straight trees we've got a bit of light coming in and you can just see the light at the base of the trees so we're just going to quickly take that on third way into the image i'm actually going to go for f11 on this one just get more sharpness into it i've got a 70 to 200 lens on now i'm currently around about 120 millimeters mark let's have a look I like that. What's nice about this also is it's got its own natural backdrop with the hill and the woodland on the other side of the hill. So there's not much light coming in from the sky, which is what we try and keep out to be honest with you, because it's a distraction. It is, honest. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Well, another woodland jaunt comes to an end. Do you know, it hasn't really been that long since I've been here, but it seems so long since I've been here. And I've loved being back in the woodlands. I've missed it so much, I really have. Even though disasters happened today and I, I left my flask of coffee in the car, but never mind, I've got the chocolate bar, so that's just fine. But look, I hope the images come out well. I hope you like them. Um, woodland photography in winter is as i said earlier a difficult scenario to be in but still as as, as enjoyable as ever but look if you if you got this far thanks for watching and have a good day have a good weekend and i'll see you next time thanks a lot bye bye don't break my heart with truth we can't fight don't you see